The Second Kingdom of Kakheti Georgian, Semepo, Semepo, also spelled Kaxti or Kahisha was a late medieval, early modern monarchy in eastern Georgia, centered at the province of Kakheti, with its capital first at Gremi and then at Televi. It emerged in the process of a tripartite division of the Kingdom of Georgia in 1465 and existed, with several brief intermissions, until 1762 when Kakheti and the neighboring Georgian Kingdom of Kartli were merged through a dynastic succession under the Kahitian branch of the Bagrationi dynasty. Through most of its turbulent history, Kakheti was tributary to the Persians, whose efforts to keep the reluctant Georgian Kingdom within its sphere of influence resulted in a series of military conflicts and deportations. Early history A previous kingdom of Kakheti was created in the 8th century following the successful rebellion of the mountainous tribes of Zanaria, which freed a large part of Georgia from Arab control. <inaudible> Revival of the kingdom The re-emergence of the Kingdom of Kakheti was the first step towards the partition of Georgia which had been embroiled in fratricidal wars since the mid-15th century. This took place after the King George VIII, himself a usurper to the throne of Georgia, was captured by his defiant vassal Kvarkvare III, Duke of Samsk, in 1465, and dethroned in favor of Bagrat V. He then set himself up as an independent ruler in his former princely appanage of Kakheti, the easternmost province of Georgia centered on the river valleys of Alazani and Iori, where he remained, a sort of anti-king, till his death in 1476. Overwhelmed by these difficulties, Constantine II, king of a reduced Georgia, was obliged to sanction the new order of things. He recognized in 1490 Alexander I, son of George VIII, as king of Kakheti in the east, and in 1491 Alexander II, son of Bagrat V, as king of Imereti in the west, leaving himself in control of Kartli. In this way the tripartite division of the Kingdom of Georgia was consummated. <laughs> Brief annexation by Kartli Following the death of George II, who had staged numerous incursions into the neighboring kingdom of Kartli, Kakheti was left weakened and annexed by Kartli. However his son, Leon of Kakheti, was taken covertly to the Kahitian Mountains at the age of nine to prevent him from being captured by the Kartlians. Following the invasion of Kartli by Ismail I, Shah of Iran, the nobles who had brought Leon to the mountains saw an opportunity, and declared Leon king of Kakheti. Following a two-year war, Kartli rescinded control over Kakheti and recognized the nation's independence. <laughs> Kakheti in the 16th century Unlike other Georgian polities, Kakheti was spared, for the time being, from major foreign incursions and significant internal unrest. Furthermore, it had the advantage over other parts of Georgia of flanking the important Gilan Shamaka Astrakhan Silk Route. The Kahitian government sponsored this trade and actively participated in it, closely tying the kingdom to the economic life of eastern Transcaucasia and Iran. The extensively cultivated fertile lands of Kakheti combined with vibrant Jewish, Armenian and Persian colonies in the trading towns of Gremi, Zagami, Karagaji, and Televi, resulted in prosperity, not observable in other parts of a fragmentized Georgia. This relative stability for a time strengthened the monarch's power and increased the number of his supporters among the nobility. Threatened by the emerging great empires of the east, those of the Ottomans and the Safavids, the kings of Kakheti persuaded a carefully staged politics of balance, and tried to establish an alliance with the co religionist rulers of Muscovy against the Shamkals of Tarki in the North Caucasus. An Ottoman Safavid peace deal at Amasya in 1555 left Kakheti within the sphere of Safavid Iranian influence, but the local rulers still maintained considerable independence and stability by showing willingness to cooperate with their Safavid overlords. Nevertheless, in 1589, Alexander II of Kakheti officially pledged his allegiance to Tsar Fyodor I of Russia, but the alliance was never actually implemented in practice. With Alexander's murder in an Iranian-sponsored coup staged by his own son, a Muslim convert Constantine I, in 1605, the fortunes of Kakheti began to reverse. 
The people of Kakheti refused to accept the patricide and overthrew him, forcing the energetic Safavid Shah Abbas I to reluctantly recognize the rebels' nominee and Constantine's nephew Timuraz I as a new king in 1605. Thus began Timuraz's long and difficult reign (1605–1648) in conflict with the Safavids. Topic: <inaudible> Iranian hegemony. In the mid-1610s, Shah Abbas I renewed his effort to bring Georgia more completely into the Safavid Empire and subjected Kakheti to repeated invasions in 1614, 1615 and 1616. In a series of Georgian insurrections and Iranian reprisals, 60 to 70,000 people were killed, and more than 100,000 Kahitian peasants were forcibly deported into Iran. The population of Kakheti dropped by two thirds. Once flourishing towns, like Gremi and Zagami, shrank to insignificant villages, agriculture declined, and commerce came to a standstill. By 1648, the indefatigable Timuraz had finally been ousted from Kakheti. The Safavid government tightened its control of Kakheti, implemented a policy of replacing the native population with nomadic Turkic tribes. At the same time, the Dagestani mountaineers started to attack and colonize the Cahitian marchlands. In 1659, Cahitians staged a general uprising, thwarting Safavid plans to settle tens of thousands of Turkomans in Kakheti. Yet, Kakheti remained under Iran's political control. The three aristocratic leaders of the uprising surrendered and were executed. Some years later, Vakhtang v Shah Nawaz, a Muslim Georgian king, Valley of Kartli, managed to obtain the Shah's permission to install his son Archil as king, Valley in Kakheti. For a time, the two kingdoms of eastern Georgia were virtually united under Shah Nawaz and his son, and a period of relative peace ensued. Making the town of Tel Aviv his capital, in place of Gremi which was ruined by the Iranian invasions, Archil set out to implement a program of reconstruction. However, the promising situation was of short duration. Archil's ascension in Kakheti marked the beginning of a rivalry between the two Bagrationi branches, the Mukrani, to which Archil belonged, and the House of Kakheti, dispossessed of the crown in the person of Timuraz I. This latter house finally succeeded, at the expense of their apostasy to Islam, in re-establishing themselves in 1703, and ruled, henceforth, at the pleasure of their Safavid suzerains. This proved to be of little benefit, however, and the kingdom continued to be plagued by the incessant Dagestani inroads. From 1724 to 1744, Kakheti was subjected to the successive Ottoman and Iranian occupations. However, the service rendered by the Cahitian prince Timuraz II to Nader Shah of Iran in the struggle against the Ottomans resulted in an annulment of heavy tribute paid by Kakheti to the Iranian court in 1743. In 1744, as a reward for their loyalty, Nader granted the kingship of Kartli to Timuraz II and that of Kartli to his son Erikal II. Both monarchs were crowned in accordance to a Christian tradition in 1745. They exploited the turmoil in Iran that followed Nader's assassination in 1747 and established themselves as virtually independent rulers. Their rule helped to stabilize the country, economy began to revive, and the Dagestani attacks were reduced, but not eliminated. When Timuraz died on January 8, 1762, Erikal succeeded him, thus uniting eastern Georgia as a single state for the first time in nearly three centuries, in the form of the Kingdom of Kartli Kakheti. See also List of monarchs of Kakheti Kakheti king's family tree